guys, how are you feeling? I'm going, as you've heard me say before, do a replay. And where is it? There it is. I really need to need to trim this down a bit. Um, there it is. It should be the right. Yep, yeah, this is the right one. So it's going to be me and Sarav versus a new guy called Bretos and Bruticus. Very nice, very nice. This is a traditional and modern 2v2. I've had a lot of 2v2s recently. <clears throat> so yeah, we've had a lot of foursome battles. It's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. And yesterday I played a 3v3, which I'll also be putting on at some point. Um, at the moment, my, my sort of battles are a bit mixed up and messed up at the moment. I mean, it's only recently I've actually decided to properly go over my YouTube account and just allocate battles where they're supposed to be but um, I'm trying my best on it I forgot to upload battle 18 <laughs> what the fuck anyway so yeah I'll be uploading that that's a pretty decent one that's another 2v2 I'm playing a lot of 2v2s at the moment I, I'm just so popular no I'm just, just joking guys just joking okay so to go into battles um, going to the armies should I say I'm traditional uh, Bruticus is traditional and the other two are going to be playing modern so I'm fielding some Yariashigaru. I'm also fielding some my big daddies and my swag daddies behind them. Pretty dang nice. And then I've also got my two shock troopers. Uh, these guys are then backed up by some Yariashigaru. And of course I have, I'm fielding my captain cabinet. Um, and then we've also got Yarikav, Yarikav and another Yarikav. Um, actually just hang on one second, just need to do something quick. Okay guys, sorry I'm back. Um, it's just because I've done so many 2v2s recently, I'm just thinking, oh shit, have I actually already replayed this one? But no, I haven't. It's, it's all good. It's just this was very, very similar to the battle I played in um, Battle 27 with Bruticus. I don't think I've quite uploaded that one just yet. But of course, if you're looking at this from the future, it should be uploaded before this battle. See, I mean, this is nah, this is pretty similar to what I bring with his. Uh, see, I've got some 3 Yari Cav just for that mobility. Uh, we're going to Seraph's army. He's got some <coughs> some Kita Kihatai Kihatai. So he's got, got some of those guys. He's got some White Baron for tree and some more White Baron for tree. He's then also fielding some Katana Kachi and a fair amount as well. These guys, I think it's a bit unfair with um, modern armies that the melee troops seem to have a lot more. They're just melee seems to be a lot more than the traditional armies. I think it's kind of quite bad. In that sense, I don't really like that. But any anyway, it's just it's just a personal thing. Uh, he's also got some Yarikachi on his flank, and he's also got uh, three. No, he's got two Yariki and a Carbine Cav. So that's a pretty deadly Cav combo. I'm also fielding um, what the fuck and the Violators. So these are two veteran Kisho Ninja units. Um, go over onto this side. We've got Bre Bretos. And let's see what he's getting. So he's got some red bear. Oops. Yeah, red bear, red bear, red bear, black bear, black bear. Oh, Tosa rifleman. And then he's also got carbine cav and carbine cav. So he's got three carbine cav. That is a very potent and deadly um, force right there. I mean, those guys will chomp your whole army down. Um, and then, of course, he's got his, his general. And finally, we're going to go into Bruticus's army. So he's also fielding some Yariashigaru up front. He's then also got some bow samurai in his sort of brute fashion. He loves bringing bows. I like it that I like it that you just bring some nice, some nice armies really. You know, some nice variety. He's just got some katana sam. Ooh, some pink katana sam. And he's also got some more katana sam and more katana sam. These guys look like skittles. Now you probably won't have heard of them. If I don't know, I think you got them in America. I'm not entirely sure, but you might have you might have them somewhere else. I'm I don't really know. I'm not very well versed in international suites, but there we go. There's also Yariashigaru and his Brutsi. He's also fielding some Yari Cav. Ooh. So let's get kicking into the battle. Um, I think oh I can't even remember who was hosting this battle. 
I think it was Saurav was hosting this battle because Saurav loves playing on Aki, Akri, Aki. Um, you know the one, the one with the two hills, the really steep hills. So yeah, I mean he normally plays on that. So immediately what we do is that we decide we're gonna unfortunately gang up on Bretos. Unfortunately, we just we just picked you. Sorry, Bretos. Um, I'm really sorry about that. But you know we just I don't know why we actually chose you. I was kind of under a lot of pressure from Sav. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he was just saying, oh, who are you going to go for? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, who I go for? So then I just randomly said you, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. So I rush my cavalry up the hill to try and, try and take this. I want to stop him from advancing any further, because obviously my ninjas are there, and I don't, I don't want them to just get seen. Um, and his cavalry are going to be released. I said to so I've just charge his carbine cav, get them away from the battle as quickly as possible. And he's going to charge in his carbine cap as well. Um, now, at this point, I then charge in two of my cab as well as his, because we want to shut those carbine cap down. They're our key priority, because if those guys get loose and our cab gets destroyed, then he's got a free reign of the battlefield, and they will most likely win. You want to be shutting down um, ranged cavalry first, because I mean they've got a lot of ammunition, and they will generally tear up any units they can just kite you for the whole game. Um, now on my flank, because um, we kind of left Bruticus to do whatever he wants, um, obviously his army is now just sitting at my side. So I pull down one of my cavalry units, I also then um, take my Yariyashigaru and I place them on the sides to cover my rear and my flank. Um, I've then also for some reason decided to just <laughs> just stand my sword infantry here, I don't really know why, but there you go. Um, but at this point, I think we've pretty much just taken out this carbine cab, which is good. That's what we wanted to do, it's our aim, and we succeeded. Um, although we lost a fair amount of cavalry whilst doing it, um, it, it's gone, basically. The whole threat is gone, and it should be nice and easy from here on. So I quickly shove these guys into spear wall as his Yarishigaru charges mine. Um, I'm not sure who would actually be winning this. It says combat and even. Um, I then charge in my cav to his cav to negate it. All these guys are really from that far away. See, I mean, automatically these guys are just going to go down because I won the charge, I think. Um, and I just say to Sarav, go for it. Just hammer this guy as much as you can. So at this point, I also put my ninjas into stealth and I charge at his red bear infantry. Um, Red Bear Infantry are very tough against um, against traditional armies, so it was a good idea for him to bring a kind of mixed match of uh, Black Bears and also um, Red Bears. And oh, we're going to get some nice ninja charging. I haven't really played. Oh, there goes ahead. I haven't really played with ninjas very often, so oops. So I just thought it was a good idea to field them. So. On this side, I'm still just trying to keep Bruticus out while we, while we deal with his uh, teammate, which, with my ninjas and also a bit of support from Sorav with his Katani Kachi, we seem to have prevailed. We seem to have done pretty darn well. And so I've locked him into place. I'm cleaning the house on there, and he'll just charge in his Katachi. Yeah, Kachi. Oh, Katachi. That'd be a pretty cool name, though. And there you go. Um, so Bruticus finally managed to punch through my Yari, Yari Ashigaru, and I'm now just going to send my sword infantry flying down the hill at his soldiers. By this point they should be tired, because they'll be running uphill, they would have been fighting, so it should just be a nice easy pickings for me. <coughs> for some reason I charged, charged in my Katana Samurai first, I'm not entirely sure why. But here come my Nodachi running down the hill, and oh my god, that just guy, that guy just got flown. Flown, I'm pretty sure that's a new word there. So, this is how it's now going to pan out. It's pretty much just going to be a bit of a clean-up job. Um, we've routed Bretos, again, I'm sorry Bretos, we ganged up on you, that was a bit unfair. Um, and now Sarah's just going to run his army back, and we're going to clean up Bruticus. Carbine cab there. This is 
um, kind of another example why you need to merge your armies together quickly. You need to spawn as close as you can together and just try and, you know, you're stronger together. I mean, being apart like they were there, obviously that then gives us the opportunity to gang up. But, I mean, if they were together, our time would have been much, much tougher. I mean, my ninjas probably would have done very, very well, but... And we probably still might have won, but, you know, you never know. I thought he could have used... Um, Bretos probably could have used his army a bit wiser, given that me and Sir have had a lot more... Um, oh, there's the end of the battle. Given that me and Sir have had a lot more melee infantry rather than ranged units, uh, to be honest, I probably would have camped. I would have probably just got to about here, got to a foothill or something, and I probably would have just camped and then had Bruticus behind me with his melee troops. Now, the reason I probably would have done that is because, um, obviously, he had a lot of, you know, he had a lot of gun units, and that's kind of what he was relying on, um, Bretos, because he needed us to charge him, and then we get off a lot, well, he gets off a lot of shots, and then he charged. Bruticus then charges in as well, and then Bretos just takes a step back and starts shooting into the back of Bruticus's men, um, who should also be engaging mine and Sarah's men. Uh, well, he probably shouldn't have shot them in the back, obviously. He probably should have waited until Bruticus's guys um, broke and then started firing, because then that would give him two, two good shots at it. Um, so here are the stats. Bam, 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 bam. Let's go for kills. So as you can see, what the fuck? And violators, they did pretty, pretty darn well. And Katana did pretty well. Uh, Bretos, so stuff. Wow, Sarab, his carbine cap did very well. Okay. He didn't really get to use his gun units very much. Look at these guys. Got about 40 kills, 3 kills. It's not really a great deal of usage. Especially from these guys. And Bruticus. His bow cap got a lot of kills. I think because he was um, peppering my Yarashigoro. Okay. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye bye. For now.